dirty politics funded by hidden money doesn't decide the future of Burlington, you do! Yeah. But I, there, was, there are so many stories that I could tell you about of inspiring people that we met out on the campaign trail and notes of encouragement that people would send. And I just, I could read many, many hundreds and I may put them all in a book of inspiration <laughs> one day and read it when times get tough, as they will. Uh, but I want to read one um, today that came up on my Facebook page. So a mom was going to uh, walk her kids to school and the school actually was the polling station. And she had her six-year-old, her four-year-old, and her two-year-old walking with her. She had her voter papers in her hand. And so her six-year-old son, Kennedy, said, what are those papers? And she said, well, uh, those are my voting papers. I'm going to a polling station to vote for who I think should be our next mayor to lead the city of Burlington. And Kennedy, being a very smart six-year-old, said, Oh, like we vote for a movie night at our house. <laughs> and she said, yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of like movie night. And he said, can we vote for the girl? And his mom, who's a very smart mom, said, well, we, we actually, don't vote for people just because they're a girl or a boy. We, we look at their ideas and we see who has the best ideas. And so her four-year-old, Summer, said, well, I have some ideas. And here was her idea. Don't kick people. <laughs> Smart kid. And then Kennedy said, don't kick people and vote for the girl. <laughs> story because we are trying to teach our children how to be in a world of negativity, how to debate issues, how to respect differences and diversity of perspective and do it in a way that doesn't dehumanize other people. So I think a four-year-old saying, don't kick people is about as good a slogan as it gets. <laughs>